Welcome to back to my channel. It's your girl, Daddy B, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, yeah. yeah, it's the same outfit from before, y'all. Yeah. yeah, it is. Mr. Obvious, yes, it is. Okay, y'all, yeah. I need to turn on chat say something. Okay, that's better because, Lord Jesus, that was not good, okay? Anyway, anyway. if you have not subscribed to my channel, you need to get into that. Because we all be lit over here, and I'm always uh, posting my little previews of my videos and stuff, and you know, to catch up with your girl, see what she doing, you know. So I'm gonna put them on the screen, and they will be in the description below, so you you know get to that, okay? Perk. Okay, so by the title, y'all already know, pet peeves. Y'all call it pet peeves. I call it shit that pisses me off. Same difference. If you try me, 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 I'ma fuck y'all hoes up. Okay, I have to write it down because the girl be forgetting shit. So I suffer from short-term memory loss. I gotta get it together fast. All right, all right. So at number ten, we have. A talking through the movie. I hate that shit. Honestly, I feel like if you go into the movies, you should not be talking through the movie because I did not come here to be talking to you. Like, we can talk outside the movie. We can talk before the movie. We can talk in the previews. But during the movie, no. I did not pay $15, $16 to sit and have a conversation with you. This is not what I came here for, okay? Be quiet, okay? And then they want to talk through the whole movie. Please, please. Please, stop it. Stop it. And number nine, we have being ignored. Being ignored is just, ugh. It's just like, it irritates everybody. I know it does for a fact, being ignored. Especially when you're explaining something to somebody or in it, like you tell them how much you don't like something or they're doing something that's bothering you. And it's just like, okay, well, I heard you, but I didn't really hear you, so I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. And I don't like that shit. Why are you ignoring me? Why? Because, bye. Goodbye. You're blocked. Goodbye. Bye. I ain't got time for you. I don't have time for this shit, okay? I do not have time for the foolery. I don't. Okay, number eight is being late or others being late. I do not like that shit. I just, I feel like people need to, you know, time themselves. Like, if you know you're supposed to be somewhere at a certain time, why is you showing up late? Or you just now leaving out the damn house? Like, we supposed to be somewhere at 4 o'clock. Why are you just now leaving out the house at 3.50? You're not going to get there in time. And I don't like that shit. I don't even, I don't even like being late for anything. For work, for whatever I have going on for the day. It's just like, it irritates me because, bitch, time. Time is not, you know, you don't have a lot of time on your hands. Like, seriously, you need to just time yourself better. Time yourself better and stop leaving out fucking late. And making other people late because you want to be late and think that's cute. It's not cute. It's not fucking cute. It's not cute. Stop it. Okay, number seven is uh, people owing you money. That is just like, I'm not even talking about, I'm not even talking about the broke people. I'm talking, not, not, no, I'm talking about the people who know damn well, they know, they know, they know they owe you money. And then you have to go finding them and going around asking them 50 million times about your money. How does that make any sense? How? Why do I have to hound you down over money that you owe me? And then, oh, and then they get upset because you asked them, oh my God, oh, I'm like, 
what you on about? If you paid your money back, you wouldn't have to go through this. But this is your fault. This is your fault. This is not my fault. I didn't do, I didn't put this on you. You put this on yourself. You put this yourself and then they be always having some type of excuse baby i don't want to hear that i don't care i don't care i'm sorry i don't care Ari. i may be a little <laughs> a little harsh but like pay hey pay what you owe okay people shouldn't have to hand you down there's people out here who will will cut your finger off uh, take your teeth out your mouth like just, just everything and you just want to play you want to play you want to play you want to play? It's 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 giving very much B B B broke bitch behavior because broke bummy bitch. That's what you are. Talking about you getting money, but it's funny to me. All you niggas living for me, why you fucking with me? When you do shit like that, and then they be having out there living their bestest life. They best is like Gucci shoes, motherfucking uh, steaks and uh, hot crab legs. Oh, how you got money for that? But you ain't got no money to pay me back. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Number six, when guys seen you nude. As a grown man, you should know that's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand if she asked you for it, but like, you just going like, oh, let me just send this girl this nude. Without letting her know, you're gonna get blocked, okay? I'm gonna call the police. Yeah, I'm calling the fucking police. I'm calling the feds. Yeah. And you're going to jail. <laughs> um, number five is when people comment on your weight. I'm like, I just feel as though, bitch, mind your business. Worry about you. Worry about what you look like. Worry about your weight. Worry about what you have going on. Why do you need to say something about? what how i look i know what i look like in the morning i know what i look like standing in the mirror i know what what kind of weight i have on me i know that i don't need your fucking comments i never needed them in the first place so why do you have something to say i have no idea it may make you feel better but guess what i don't care what you have to say i don't i don't like keep your fucking comments to yourself how about you take your ass to a fucking gym you fucking work out and you worry about you okay how about you worry about your health and your well-being and i worry about my health, okay just saying fight your mother don't fight me just with your mother not me all right and so at number four when people cannot talk to you without yelling like i understand but i don't understand because i don't like nobody fucking yelling at me i'm not a little kid i'm not a dog i'm not a cat i'm not a hamster i'm not a fucking uh i don't know bitch like why do you need to fucking yell without you can't talk to me without yelling like you 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 seriously like i need to yell for you to understand that that's not gonna make me understand it's gonna make me more mad because you feel like you need to yell at me to talk to me and that's not okay you need to get some fucking therapy get some fucking help because you're not gonna keep yelling and be like i'm a little fucking kid like bitch we're grown learn how to talk to people without fucking yelling learn how to talk to people because we're not kids anymore and i will fight you the fuck <laughs> Number three is no communication. I hate it. I work at a place where it's literally almost zero to nine communication. Um, and it's, it's annoying. It's really annoying at a workplace with friends, with family, with relationships. It's annoying, especially if you're with someone who wants you to communicate and you don't. It's annoying. Everybody, I mean, some people may have patience, but some people don't. Like, I cannot go and work somewhere where I, I'm supposed to just figure stuff out on my own and no one tells me how to do it. And then get mad because I don't know how to do certain things. Well, you didn't fucking tell me how to do it. Nor did you fucking show me. So how am I supposed to know? And then motherfuckers want to go uh, relationship-wise. People want to go days and weeks and months without speaking to you. And then you're supposed to just... Oh, 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 I understand. No, I don't understand shit. You need to learn how to talk. You need to learn how to fucking talk. Nobody finna be sitting here babyfying you and chasing after you and asking, Oh my God, why are you not talking to me? No, I'm not doing that shit. You're not, you're not a little kid anymore. You're grown. Learn how to fucking talk to people. If you have a problem with what somebody is doing to you or 
you know, you don't like something, say something. Uh, so, y'all need to work on your communication skills for real. And don't be putting that shit in your fucking resume. So, I have good communication skills. You don't. No, your ass fucking don't. Stop this. Stop capping. Number two is being bossed around. I cannot. I cannot understand why people want to tell you what to fucking do. Like you don't have a fucking mind of your own. Bitch, I am, I am not your fucking servant. Are we supposed to be working together? And example for my job. I do not like when people boss me around. Like I'm willing to work with you. But you're not going to just run me over like I'm your little flunky. Like... <laughs> Two boss bitches in a room can't run each other, okay? Get it together. You can't run me, and I'm not finna try to run you. So you need to um, calm it down. You want to be a boss, get your own shit. Okay, run your own shit, but you're not finna run me, okay? Okay, so for number one is when people break your belongings. Like, I get things happen and accidents happen, but... What I mean by people breaking your belongings, they don't be trying to replace that shit either. And it's like, how you mad at me? But you broke my stuff and then you get mad at me because I'm mad at you because you broke my shit. I have really bad, I wouldn't even say trust issues. I just don't trust people giving people my stuff personally because I feel like they're going to break it. And then when I ask them to, to fix it, it's like, oh, well, I ain't going to do it. And it's like, why you got an attitude for it? What's the attitude for? You break it. What my mom, my mom tells me, she's like, you break it, you buy it. Right. So you need to or replace it. Like you don't just break people's shit and then not say nothing. Like, come on now. I'm not, I'm not with the shit. I'm not with the dumb buffoonery. You're not going to take my stuff and break it and then not want to replace anything. You don't want to replace it. No, we're not having that. I'm not having that shit. Okay. Okay, so that is the end of this video. <laughs> That's my top two things that piss me off. That means gonna tussle and bustle. Mm -mm -mm. Be the bitch up. Yup, like, because I'm sick of the buffoonery. I'm sick of it. And I won't have it no more. Okay? And I won't have it. So y'all know that I know that y'all know. Okay? That we all know we're on the same page. Okay? So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because we is lit over here. We is lit over here, okay? We small, but we lit, period. And I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel who has stayed this long, who always watch my videos. I thank you from the bottom of my little, little, big, giant heart. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um so yeah um i'll see you guys the next time i post bye